every two or three months I make a meat dish and today I make a kofta with tahini which is minced meat with herbs and spices baked in the oven and drizzled with tahini sauce that's tahini with lemon and today I'm making it for a very small group of people and let's talk about ingredients. First is the minced meat, it's beef, I prefer beef to lamb and it's 500 grams of minced beef and it's 5% fat, not too much fat. 100 grams of onion and black leaf parsley, lemon juice for the tahini sauce, tahini itself, pepper and chili flakes, and the main ingredient for the meat is cinnamon. First, I start by dicing this onion very thinly. Onions on top. I pick the parsley sprigs off the stalks and now I'm ready to chop them. In. And now I add my spices and season, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper and a heaping teaspoon of ground cinnamon. This is what gives kofta its aroma. For the fun part, I use my hands to knead this together, but not too tight. Don't press too much because you don't want the kofta to taste very rubbery. So just gently knead this together. Traditionally kofta is served flat, but I'm going to turn it into individual serving sausage shaped. I didn't press too much on these because I don't want it to be rubbery when I bite into it. So these are done. They're gonna bake at 350 or 180 degrees Celsius for about half an hour to 45 minutes. Keep an eye on these when you put them in the oven. While the kofta is baking, I'm gonna prepare my tahini sauce, starting with 200 grams of tahini, four lemons juiced, a bit of salt, and some warm water, and that's about 100 milligram of warm water. Let's start with the sauce. Into the 200 grams of tahini, I add 50 millimeter of warm water to whisk in. And now it's time to add one teaspoon of salt. I love lemon, they are in season now, and citrus fruit with kofta is the perfect combination. I reduce the amount of salt in the tahini with more lemons. So these are three lemons juiced, and I'm loving it already. There's nothing more satisfying than squeezing lemon. This is when I add the lemon juice and the citrus to the tahini sauce and water, and the magic happens here. Chemistry serves us, where it thickens the sauce with the citrus. So it's gotten thick and this is how you test it. You want it to coat your spoon. And this is what happens. Kofta is done. And now I pour the tahini sauce on these koftas and then put them back in the oven for about five minutes to grill on top. After five minutes of grilling this, it's got a golden brown, beautiful top layer. And now I'm ready to plate. And I'm picking my best ones. and a sprinkle of chopped parsley. Kofta with tahini, my favorite, and I love this moment when I dig in and taste what I made. Mm. The cinnamon is coming out, it's beautiful. I think cinnamon and beef or lamb works very well. The lemon, the citrus, and the tahini, and the, the kofta. Perfect combination, absolute perfect combination. I hope you like it, I love it. This reminds me of my mom, bon appétit. I am Iyad, I graduated from Le Cordon Bleu in patisserie and cuisine. I specialize in Mediterranean and Middle Eastern food with the French technique. I hope you like my food, follow me and click, 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 like if you like it. Thank you.